this is one of the most exciting points in the year in MLB The Show. We have Finest coming out next week. If you don't know what Finest cards are, it's basically a set of cards that celebrate the previous season here in Diamond Dynasty. They come out after the postseason ends. And the guys who get cards are usually like awards winners, uh, awards finalists, sometimes the best player on a team for that year. And with Team Affinity 5 coming out on Friday the 19th, all of the cards in that set are gonna be finest players. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to go through all 30 teams and give you guys my prediction on who's getting the finest card for each team. Now, a couple things. I know there's some players in here that have high diamonds already. I don't really care if a card has a high diamond, like if a guy already has a 98 or even a 99, it doesn't really matter here. As long as you make the card different enough to make it play different in the game, I think it's okay to have a guy with two high overall diamonds in the same year. Also, some teams are gonna get more than one finest player. I think we're gonna get probably like 50 finest cards total. So if I don't talk about a certain player on your team, we're gonna jump into these predictions. But before we do, we have a sponsor today. I wanna thank G Fuel for sponsoring the video today. You guys know we have a G Fuel code, code Coogs. It's usually 10% off, but for this weekend, it's 30% off. So if you're looking to try some out for the first time or you're looking to restock, use code Coogs this weekend and click the link in the description i'm really liking pink drip this is one of my favorite flavors lately you can also try out the starter packs they have some flavors to choose from they give you a shaker so it's a good way to uh kind of get introduced to the product but anyway code kooks 30 percent off click the link in the description to head on over there thank you again to g fuel for sponsoring the video let's get into these predictions now i'm gonna start with the padres because they actually already revealed the Padres. Padres finest is going to be 99 overall Fernando Tatis Jr. You can see the card art on this little clip. By the time you're watching this video, they may have already revealed some other team's finest cards, but Fernando Tatis Jr. is all we have at the current time. Anyway, let's get it started with the American League East, and let's talk about the Baltimore Orioles. My prediction for the Orioles finest player is going to be Cedric Mullins. Now, I know that's not an earth-shattering prediction, considering Cedric Mullins was one of the only highlights for the Orioles this year. And I know he already has this 98 from Team Affinity 3, but I think on a finest for 99 overall cards, they could probably buff the fielding a little bit, maybe buff the arm strength slightly. They could probably give him a little bit more power too. I think they would make the card play different. And other than Ryan Mountcastle, who led rookies in home runs, Mullins is really like the only option. The Boston Red Sox also have a lot of candidates. They are a team that could definitely get multiple finest cards. The thing is, we already got a Devers card from the postseason. We got a Kike from the postseason. We got a Nathan Eovaldi from the postseason. I think Xander Bogarts is a really good pick for a finest card, but he's actually not my prediction. I'm going with Garrett Whitlock. Now, I don't think a 99 finest Garrett Whitlock would be that good considering his pitch mix is kind of doo-doo. But when you look at what he did for the Red Sox this year, I think he's absolutely deserving of a card in 73 innings out of the bullpen he struck out over 80 batters and had a sub two era like i don't care what you say those are finest numbers i do think bogarts will get one and he may end up being the only guy from the red sox i just think garrett whitlock is very deserving of one the new york yankees i think they're getting at least two i think aaron judge and garrett cole are both getting a finest card i know aaron judge has this uh, Team Affinity 3 card, the 98, but I think they can make this card even better for a finest. But my official prediction will be Garrett Cole. This is the only Garrett Cole we have in the game right now. He's got to get a 99 overall finest, especially as a Cy Young finalist too. I know Cole could get cards from previous years, but I think it's fitting that we give Garrett Cole a 99 finest. He's my prediction for the Yankees. Now, the Tampa Bay Rays were a little interesting. Of course, you've got Wander Franco, you got Joey Wendell, you've got Randy Arroyo's Randy, you got Mike Zanino. All of these guys are deserving but they already have pretty good cards. Even Brandon Lau is a good pick. I think he could definitely get that finest card. But I'm gonna be a little different on this one. I'm going with another reliever. I'm going with Colin McHugh. He had a really nice season for Tampa Bay. In 64 innings, he struck out over 10 batters per nine and had an ERA at like 1.5. Like that's a really good season. Plus, when you throw on this pitch mix with a slider and a cutter on a player that has really high hits per nine, which his finest would be, this could be a sick card to bring out of the bullpen. The Toronto Blue Jays. This team was tough because there's a lot of good options. But my official prediction here has got to be Marcus Semyon. I mean, what a season this dude had. Set a record for home runs by a second baseman. He won a gold glove. All the attention this year for the Blue Jays was on Vlad Jr. 
and his Triple Crown slash MVP race. But under the radar, Marcus Semyon Loki had kind of a better year than Vladdy. Maybe not necessarily better, but literally right on pace with Vlad in terms of productivity on the field. For the White Sox, it's pretty much between two pitchers for me because if you look at their hitters, a lot of these guys got really good cards already. 99 Tim Anderson from Field of Dreams. 98 player of the month louis bob 98 postseason abreu 97 tops now grandall one of the best tops now cards in the game so on and so forth for me i think it's gonna come down to between lance lynn and liam hendricks and while i think they both could get it my pick here is gonna be liam hendricks i think they gotta buff up a liam hendricks 99 overall reliever while i don't necessarily think he'll be good based off the pitch selection having maxed out hits per nine with that velo that break i think he could be decent all right the cleveland indians now i just got to be clear jose ramirez is always a finest candidate for the cleveland indians jose ramirez might be one of the most underrated players in baseball this dude always puts up mvp numbers every single season and he always goes under the radar i don't know if it's because he plays in cleveland or what but to the casual baseball fan when you think some of the best players in the american league jose ramirez might not always come up to the top of that list but he is absolutely in that conversation with the productivity he puts up every single season however he is not my finest pick for this team i'm going emmanuel Classe. anytime you see a finest emmanuel Classe come out of the bullpen it's time to get off mlb and go play cod or something because you're not touching that that card this dude had 24 saves in like 70 innings pitched and had an era at like 1.3 for the full season like he was incredible out of the bullpen he's got to get a finest card the detroit tigers uh this one's got to go to a pitcher i don't think any hitter on the detroit tigers is getting a finest card for 2021 and i think the best pick here is casey mize and i'm really excited about this one because if you played mlb the show 20 you guys remember that future stars casey mize he was really nice he was like a kluber jr the thing is not a lot of people had or faced that casey mize because he was a br reward and BR rewards were significantly more difficult to get in MLB 20 as compared to 21. So if you give me a 99 Casey Mize that looks anything like the future stars from last year, I'm happy. For the Kansas City Royals, I know this is the boring pick, but it is the pick. It's Salvador Perez. He's going to get a 99 overall finest. He's going to be the guy for the Royals. There's really not a ton of other options on the Royals. And with the offensive season that Salvador Perez had, you just can't not give him a finest. And I'm actually excited about this card because finest Salvi last year was my favorite catcher by the end of the year. He was my end game guy. Will he have enough to beat Schwarber this year for me? We'll have to wait and see. Final team for the Central in the American League is gonna be the Twins. And this one to me was fairly easy. I think we're gonna be looking at a finest Jorge Polanco. While the Twins had a rough year and they definitely underperformed, a guy who didn't underperform is Jorge Polanco. The dude had over 30 home runs. He drove in almost 100 runs with an OPS well above 800. And realistically, there's not a ton of other options on the Twins. It's got to be Polanco, and he might be sick. This is a card to look out for that not a lot of people are talking about right now. Moving on to the American League champions, the Houston Astros. This team is definitely getting multiple finest cards. I think we can expect finest cards from Kyle Tucker. I think we can expect a finest card from Luis Garcia. But the number one finest card from the Astros has to be Carlos Correa. This dude had an incredible season in a contract year. He put up incredible defensive numbers, won the platinum glove at shortstop. He had an OPS plus of over 130 while putting up those defensive numbers like incredible season MVP caliber numbers at shortstop he's gonna get paid and he's gonna get a 99 overall finest the Angels this team's pretty easy to me yeah Jared Walsh had a good year I don't think he's getting a finest Otani of course is gonna be the MVP of the league but you can't really make an Otani better than the one we got from Team Affinity 3 I'm sorry the all-star game unless maybe they want to do an Otani that's a pure hitter that you can just plug into the outfield or something like that I think this one's pretty clear that we're getting Rysel Iglesias one of the best pickups in the offseason period not just for the Angels period I hope they extend him I hope they get him back for a couple years because he's going to be such a key part in locking down that bullpen Rysel's getting the finest for the Oakland A's if you're going with a hitter it's got to be Matt Olson he's very very good this year but you're going to get annoyed by me saying this over and over throughout the video I just don't know how much better a 99 Olson is going to be compared to this 98 but I'm going with a different guy I'm going with Frankie Montas I'd like to see this guy get a 99 now I hated watching this guy pitch against the Angels because he would carve them up 
up every single time this year. But he was a damn good pitcher for the Oakland A's this year. I think he should get the finest. If they want to give it to Olsen as well, that's cool. But I think Frankie Montas deserves a little bit of love. Dude, the Mariners were a tough one, man, because you got Paul Sewald, you've got Drew Steckenrider. Those two dudes were huge for them pitching-wise, especially after they got rid of Kendall Graveman at the trade deadline. Mitch Hanniger had a really nice year. But for the finest pick, I'm going to go with Ty France. Now, I don't necessarily think a Ty France card would be all that good. They'd have to juice up the power numbers a little bit. I think he only hit like 18 home runs or something this year, but he had an OPS over 800. He had an OPS plus hovering around 130, and he provided some good versatility for the Mariners this year, and his war at the end of the season was over four, so he was a big piece in the Mariners' playoff push late in the year, so I think he's going to get the finest. Wouldn't be shocked if it went to Mitch or one of those relievers I was talking about either. Well, on to the final team in the American League, and I got to say, this one's, uh, this one's tough. Well, I don't think he's going to be the guy to get it. I think Joe Barlow does deserve a little bit of attention as far as the Rangers' finest. He saved 11 out of 12 games for them this year. He had an ERA at 1.55. Problem is, though, he only pitched like 29 innings. I don't know if that's quite enough to get him the finest card. So I'm going to go with Nate Lowe. You might be thinking I was going to say Garcia. Just not really sure how much better the Garcia card would be compared to the team of Infinity 3-1. I think Nate Lowe would be good because I don't think we have a good Nate Lowe this year other than his gold, which, if I remember correctly, actually smashed in BR. I think if they make a juiced up version of Nate Lowe, he could be the guy. Sure, they could go Kiner Falefa, like... The Rangers are going to be a rough finest team. Let's move it over to the world champion Braves. Now, the Braves are absolutely getting a few finest cards. I would say maybe at, at the very least three, if not four. Freddie Freeman deserves a card at some point, whether they want to give him a finest for this year or they want to give him a previous year's flashback. Max Freed, I thought he would for sure get one from the postseason, but they probably have him saved for finest. But my pick is Austin Riley. This dude needs a better card. He's been kind of done dirty by SDS all year. They didn't make him diamond even after the postseason they have like kike going up from a silver to a diamond but they can't bring austin riley up after helping lead the team to a world series i don't know they they seem like they just had this anti austin riley agenda this year but i think they're gonna make it right austin riley getting a 99 finest card one of the biggest reasons the braves were even in the postseason mix he's probably gonna be top five mvp voting and he needs a finest card. He's my pick. The Marlins is pretty simple to me. It's either between Sandy or Trevor Rogers. I think I'm going to go Sandy just because Rogers already has that 97. And I'd like to see Sandy get some love. Plus, he might have a pretty good pitch mix with that 99 velo and the high hits per nine. He might be kind of nasty. So if he ends up getting it, he's a sneaky good one. All right, the New York Mets. I think this is going to come down to probably two pitchers. I think it's either going to be Marcus Stroman or Aaron Loop. They're both very deserving. I don't think either one of them have a higher diamond this year. And I'm going to go Aaron Loop because similar to Austin Riley, I don't know why they wouldn't upgrade this guy year to at least the silver. This dude pitched over like 60 games and had an ERA under one. Like, what is this guy doing as a bronze? Plus, as a lefty in the bullpen with a sinker, cutter, and a changeup, yo, sign me up. Give me Aaron Loop as a finest. I'll take Stroman too, though. The Phillies. Okay. The Phillies are a team that I think are definitely getting two 99s. I think Zach Wheeler absolutely will get one. I think he'll get a 99 finest. And yes, I do think Bryce Harper is also going to get a 99 finest. I know he has this 99 MVP card from 2015. I do think the hitting is going to look fairly similar. He didn't really hit lefties as good this year, but I think they could buff the fielding and make him like a gold fielder and keep that arm strength. And if they do that, that's enough for me to go ahead and say yeah give me a good fielding Bryce Harper so I'm gonna go Bryce for the Phillies and Zach Wheeler the Nationals is easy I'm not gonna spend too much time on this it's Juan Soto he's he's gonna get the finest card he'll probably be pretty much 125 across the board hitting but this year they may actually give him gold fielding in the outfield because his finest card last year was the best hitter in Diamond Dynasty period but his fielding was a little rough this year he might get gold fielding just on the base so I'm excited for Soto again moving it on to the central in the National League yes Frank Schwindel for the Cubs is a fun option he'd be cool but I think it's going to somebody else I think we're gonna see a finest Patrick Wisdom I think he'll be really good if they even and make his hitting any similar to this he's gonna be good his swing is really nice i love this card quite frankly there just wasn't a ton of good options for the cubs this year maybe wilson Contreras, maybe but i think it's pretty clear that it's gonna be patrick wisdom the Cincinnati Reds may have been the toughest team to lock down a prediction for because there are so many good options. 
The nice thing is that Castellanos has a 98. I don't think a finest Castellanos would look much different than that. Joey Votto got the 99 player of the month from, I think, July. I think Wade Miley and Tyler Malley would definitely be really good picks for finest. Even Tyler Stevenson wouldn't be bad. But my official prediction for the Reds finest has got to be Jonathan India. Very, very nice year. Rookie of the year candidate in the National League. Got an OPS over 100, an OPS plus at like 113 or so. I think he could be really, really good. Yes, Jesse Winker is an option. Uh, Tyler Naquin would be cool. There's just so many good options on the Reds that it's really hard to lock one down, but ultimately, I go with Jonathan India. The Brewers, Corbin Burns. It's similar to Soto, just that that's all you need to say. Corbin Burns. Freddie Peralta got a 99 from the All-Star game. Hayter and Williams both have 97s already. Probably not gonna get anything for their hitters. It's gotta be Corbin Burns. He's absolutely a 99 finest. For the Pirates, Brian Reynolds is the easy pick. I think he will end up being the guy. He played in almost every single game this season. OPS over 900, like 24 home runs or something. He's the guy on the Pirates for sure. But don't sleep on David Bednar. He was actually really nice for the Pirates. He pitched in like 60 innings or so, had an ERA like at 2.2, 2.3, somewhere around there, striking out over 11 batters per nine. This guy had a really nice year. Nobody paid attention because it's the Pirates. Finishing out the National League Central is going to be the Cardinals. Or finishing out the Central is going to be the Cardinals. Cardinals are is they're weird because so many guys have good cards. Tyler O'Neill from this year, the 98 Tommy Edmond. Uh, we have 97 Harrison Bader, 97 Gallegos. Plus, Arenado got his 99 signature. It's got to be Paul Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt had a nice year. We've been waiting for a 99 Goldschmidt or at least the 98 Goldschmidt or something all year. I, I think it's clear that he's the pick at this point. All right, the Reds were probably the toughest team to pick in terms of which guy to lock in that spot. Um, the Diamondbacks may be harder just because of the lack of options. Itzel Marte is probably like the guy, but he didn't even play 100 games this season. So I don't know if they want to use a bigger sample size than that or not. I don't know. I mean, maybe Josh Rojas, maybe Zach Gallen or, or uh, Merrill Kelly, but they didn't even have great years. <laughs> this team is so weird. I don't know who to say I'm going to pick. I want to say Marte. I'm just not sure about the sample size. I may just say Josh Rojas. He had a 700 plus OPS. I, I don't know, bro. I, I don't know for the D-backs, man. However, that's not the case for the Rockies. This is pretty easy. CJ Crone, he's going to be their finest. Basically, him... Being the finest card is the reason why he didn't get a player of the month in, what, August? Whenever Robbie Ray was the guy. DJ Crone absolutely deserved a player of the month that month, but they didn't really have a lot of options for the Rockies. They were saving him for finest. Expect 99 CJ Crone on Friday. Dodgers are going to get more than one for sure. Um, we're going to get a 99 Walker Bueller. The best one we have is a 96, so expect a better Bueller. But my prediction, of course, Max Muncie. Muncie's going to get a finest. Absolutely. He had such a good year. It sucks that he went down when he did for the Dodgers. He will absolutely get a finest card, but the Dodgers are a team that definitely are going to get more than one. Last but not least, we have the Giants, and the Giants already have a finest card. We got this Buster Posey that came out on Friday, but he's not in Team Affinity 3 so they are going to get another finest card and i'm going brandon crawford obviously you know they have pitchers that had great years we already got a player of the month doval we got that uh postseason rogers brandon crawford was a huge reason the giants were competitive this year and the giants had such a good season like he was the cornerstone of that team next to buster posey and brandon bell crawford without a doubt deserves the finest card here Ooh, man so i know that was a long video i know that was a lot of talking but i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys uh think my predictions are good i'm sure some of you guys are going to disagree with certain points but down in the comments let me know what you think who do you think is going to get the finest for your favorite team are there any players on here that i didn't talk about that you think deserve some love let me know in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.